Hello, welcome to Florida's ICT Academy. Sometimes ago, I did a lesson on how to join and manipulate text in Microsoft Excel. So if you have not watched that video, check the description section of this video. You are going to see that this is a follow up to that video. OK, what we are going to be doing in this training today is to show you how to split a column into two. OK, if you have a data in a column, for example, you have the full name as we have in column B and then you want to split that into first name and last name. So there are times that probably your manager or you have a data in your front that is designed in this way and then you need to split them into first name in a column, last name in another column. There is a function in Excel that could help you to do that. Or let me say there is a tool in Excel that can help you to do that within the tinkle of an eye. So that's a beautiful thing about Microsoft Excel. Uh, it doesn't matter the number of rows that you need to split. Okay, once you go there and you do that, you are able to split it uh, within the tinkle of an eye. And this one thing again that makes Excel to be very interesting because if you have this table in Microsoft Word, for example, it's going to be a tug of war for you to be able to split uh, the column where you have the full name and separate them into two different columns on the table as the first and the last name. But with Excel, you can easily get that to be done. Now, let's go straight to what we are going to do today. Now, you, the first thing you are going to do, it depends on the requirement. If you still want to maintain the full name and then have two additional columns as first and the last name, there is no problem. You can do that. In that case, you are going to have the full name column. You are going to have another column called uh, the first name, another column as the last name. That's one option or one scenario. Another scenario is where you want to totally replace the full name. You don't need the full name column again in the Excel. So you want the data you want to split one of them to replace the full name column. No problem about that. Now, the database we are using right now, you can see it has uh, a column A to I. And then we have EEID, full name, department, business unit, gender, ethnicity, country, city, and exit date. Now, by the time we had an additional two columns to this, that means we are expected to have up to column K, okay? Because we are going to have the first and the last name just after uh, the full name. So let's first and foremost uh, try the first scenario, okay? The first scenario is that we are replacing uh, the full name with maybe the last name, and then we are going to have additional column as the first name. That's the first scenario. Okay, so let's go ahead. How do you do that? Uh, the first thing I will advise you to do is create additional a column here, a new column. Click on the column C. By the time you click on the column letter, letter C, then you align the entire column. Right click on the column C and then you go to insert, insert additional column. So right now we have a column that we want to use to accommodate uh, the first or the last name. Why? We can have the last name here the first name here, and then we'll get rid of the full name completely. So having done that, the next thing you are going to do, I like the column B that you want to split. Now take note of something as well. The data you have in column B uh, is separated by what? The first and the last name currently for the full name is separated by space. So go straight to data on the menu bar. You have the data on the menu bar. So click on the data. By the time you click on the data, you have all the truths under the data. The one we are making use of today is text to column. Now, this is Microsoft Office 2019. So this is Excel 2019. I don't know the version of Excel you are using, but you should have text to column option on that data. So if you don't have it, uh, probably you are using an old Excel version. Let me know in the comment section as well, okay? If you don't have text to column option. There are different ways of doing this, but this is the simplest way because this is already there. This is a wizard you are going to follow. You are not typing any formula. You just follow the wizard. A dialog box will pop up and then you respond to that dialog box and then you have your data there. So let's see how it works. I'm going to click on text to column. Now, when I do that, a dialog box pop up for the wizard. Then we have step one to three that we are going to follow. Now, the first option that you have here is delimited. Choose the file, choose the file type that best describe your data. Our data here is described by space. That is, there's a space between the first and the last name. Okay. I'm assuming that Emily is the first name and Davis is the last name. 
So there is a space. So that first and the last name is currently separated by a space, not by comma. So if it is separated by either space, comma or semicolon, then you are going to go ahead and choose the limited option here. It's not separated by a width, okay? So we go ahead and click on the limited and the next thing you hit, you are going to see the data preview and then you go to the next. Now, when we get to the next, you have options here as well. The limiters option, what are the options? The tab, okay, this is going to be there by default because you want it in a new tab, okay? Then you have what? Uh, another option, semicolon, no, comma, no. This data here is not separated by any of them. It's separated by space. So I'm going to click on space. And as soon as you click on space, look at the data preview. Now, let me uncheck this. You can see how it is right now. But when I click on space, you can see that it is split into two columns because my data here is separated with space. So I have the first name and then the last name separated with space. So the next thing we are going to do right now, after doing that, we are going to eat on the next and go to the third step in the wizard. Now, this is the third step. I want you to take note of something here. This is telling us about colon data format. That is the format for the column. You can format the color either as general or text because we are dealing with general and we are dealing with text value here. If I choose text, there is no problem. If I choose general, there is no problem because my data is actually a text value. It's a string. So uh, it can either go as general or text. Now, it is not a date. Okay. So I'm not going to go ahead and choose date because what I'm splitting here is not date. Uh, if I'm splitting month and year, Okay, in a column, I want to split it to month and year column, a single column that contains month and year, then I can go ahead and choose date here. But this time around, I'm doing general or test value. There is no problem. So the next thing you are going to do, as you can see right now, so we have destination. Where should the splitting go to? So it's going to start from column B, row number one. That means the column where I already have the full name. Remember the first scenario, that's what you want to achieve. You want to replace the full name with the first name and have uh, the next uh, last name to come to another column entirely. So uh, this is a destination. They start in the destination. I'm good with this column B and then row number one. So you leave that as it is. And then the next thing you are going to do now is to click on finish. So it's going to you can see there is already data here. Do you want to replace it? I will say yes. That's okay. Then see what happened. So I don't need this column. Basically, I can hide it by right clicking on it and click on hide column. This is hide or I go ahead and then delete that column. Let's go ahead and hide it. Right. So I've hidden the column D there. So now you can see the full name. You change the full name now to maybe the first name. All right. And then this name to the last uh, name. Great. So we have our data splitted and then uh, there is no overwriting of the other data that we have in the Excel. So that's the first scenario. It's up to column J now. Uh, the next scenario that we want to do, let's go ahead and bring out this column because we are going to need it on hide the column. Okay. So the column that was hidden before, I will right click and then unhide the column to have it back. Uh, the, the next scenario we are going to have is to maintain our full name column and then have the first and the last name. Remember from the last lesson that I did that I told you joining tests and manipulating data in Excel, the link is in the description of this video. You can go ahead and just join this one together. But that's not what we are going to do here because we've done that before. I uh, want to see how this test to column is not going to affect the full name that we already have. So let me go ahead and on just use undo so we can go back to the way our data is before. So what you need to do for the second scenario now, we want to maintain the full name. We don't want it to go. Okay, the full name should be there. Then we want to have two additional column for the first and the last name. So I'm going to insert additional column here. I call it insert. So I have two column now. These two columns is going to be first name and then the last name while we maintain the full name. So go ahead and click on column B. So you go back to our wizard, test to column wizard. So we have selected all the initial options. So just click on next space. That's fine. We've done that. You click on next. Now, destination. So destination now, you have to come over here and change it from column B. And you go ahead and click column C. 
Okay, I want you to start from colon C. So don't bother about where it's going to head. It will automatically split to colon D. So what you need to do next right now is to click on finish. When I click on finish and then see what it's going to do. So it's going to tell us again that it's already data here. Which data? Okay, probably what we have as colon there. So go ahead and click that. So right now, uh, we don't need this colon. You can hide it or you can delete it. There's no problem about that. So you can see now, we have the full name, and then you can call this one first name, and then you call this one as our last name. So that's great. So we have splitted this column by maintaining the full name. At the same time, we have the first and the last name. So this is our new updated uh, database. So that's how to actually quickly split uh, a column two different columns. If it's up to three uh, names that you have, maybe you have the first name, the last name, and middle name, you can as well split them into three. So there is no limit to what you can do with that. So this is how to split uh, a column into two or three or more different columns. I hope you have learned something here. Now, if you have any challenge in doing this when you are practicing it, uh, don't hesitate to drop that in the comment section or drop message for me on the WhatsApp. And if you are interested in learning better, you want to learn more, you want somebody that will hold you by hand and you want to learn one-on-one, -on -one, we have an online training that is going on, computer and ICT training for beginner. We have a, 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 a ICT training also that is going on for different areas of ICT, cybersecurity, data analytics. You might want to check uh, the website in the description of this video. You are going to see full detail of all our training courses and how we can actually hold you by hand and turn you from beginners to computer guru. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.